Easter egg Jude, Easter egg Jude, Easter egg Jude, Easter egg Jude, Easter Jude, Easter Jude. Hey guys, no gender Jude here, and today I'm going to be doing a little craft. I will be making from scratch some bunny rabbit ears. Super excited because I've been wanting to make some malleable, I guess, movement posing ears for a while now and Easter is coming along and I thought this would be a good chance to kind of do that and incorporate it and show it off to you guys. Also this is my year's Easter look. I use the Creepy Cute palette from Strobes Cosmetics. If you guys don't have their stuff you should really get it because it is amazing and I love the way that it puts on. I mean like so yeah, I use this for this face. If you guys want a tutorial for this look, please comment down below and maybe I'll get that out for you for Easter, but ooh, we'll see. So if you guys want to watch me create some awesome bun bun ears, keep watching and you'll find out how I did it. For the base of my bunny ears, I'm going to be using this wool felt square and then I'm going to be adding details with this wool multicolor rolls. And to help my bunny ears stand up, I'm going to be using these little wires. So the first thing I attempted was just jamming the wire into the felt and hoping that it stays, which it actually kind of did. It was a little bit difficult, but if you keep at it and stay focused, ignore my stupid focus face, you'll get it. I decided to take my scissors and separate my bunny ears into two. Before you get too happy, remember you have to put the wire in the other ear as well. Now we're gonna take some needle and thread and make a little knot at the end. I'm gonna put it in my mouth because that's just what I do. And I'm gonna be shaping my ears a little bit more so that they look more of a bunny ear shape. And now we're just gonna bend in the fabric at the ends to kind of create a more 3D effect of a bunny ear. Once you're happy with the way that the felt is looking, go ahead and start sewing. Make sure to take a step back and look at your creation every now and again before you finish sewing just to make sure that everything is in place and the way that you want it to be. Now go ahead and copy the same thing on the other side. Change our focus to the tops of the ears now. I'm going to be cutting little slits in them because I want the tops of my bunny ears to kind of taper off and give a different shape than the bottoms of the ears. Once you're happy with your cut, you can sew back the seam together so that your bunny ear is again whole. Next, I'm going to be using a black headband and using the wire and shoving it into the other side of the ear. I tightened the wire as much as I could to the headband before I started to sew the ear to the headband so that it would be way more secure and actually stay in the position that I want. Now grabbing this extra wool detail, I'm going to be adding the dark bits first to the bottom of the ears and giving it some definition and then continuing on adding the lighter colors as I go. I ended up adding some of the darker wool to a fake crease that I created to basically make it look like there's a shadow going on and that the ears are kind of folded in and bigger than what they actually are. I had so much fun creating depth in this look and trying to make it as realistic as I could. Definitely a fun first time for me and I look forward to doing more creative things in the future. So these are the complete bunny ears. I might add a little bit more detailing 
onto the backs of them to make them more realistic looking. I hope you enjoyed. I really, really love the way that these ears turned out. Super fun craft, and I'm gonna be definitely doing more crafts in the future. But yeah, and my makeup look today for this Easter ensemble. The idea behind this look is that the green and kind of turquoise color is the grass or like the green growing through and then these are the flower colors and then I also did like kind of a rose petally kind of look in the ears so I don't know if that translated well Oof. so yeah <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did because I'm enjoying myself so much doing this lately leave me a big thumbs up leave me a big thumbs up leave me some comments down below on what you would like to see in the future slash what you thought of my bunny ears and if you guys haven't subscribed yet subscribe already i'll see you next time bye